particularly good, which is kind of nice. I can actually do a quick review on how my boats are doing when it comes to the dosh. So if we look down here at the mean profit per day, anything that's not making me dosh, like the SS West London, oddly enough. Wait, am I missing something? Or was it somebody else that wasn't making me money? Taikisha isn't, but I think that's because they're full of goods and haven't uh, shipped them off yet. So anyone that's uh, not making me much money and isn't full of goods is a problem. And that essentially is nobody, which is what I like to see. So everybody's making me plenty of money. Still, I need enough money to join in Novgorod, and the sooner the better. So I think the next ship that... Oh, that's important. SS knife only. You've already proven your worth, because there was something in the water. It's a treasure map. That was incredible, Joker. Aha! Very good. Now, I know where this is, but do you at home think you know where that treasure is? Take a good look at the map, and then take a good look at the map, and tell me, who's that Pokemon? We're going to go and grab it once we think we know. I'm just going to get all those building materials over to Riga. Hamburg is under siege, that's terrible for them, but we don't really care about Hamburg. Bah, Hamburg. So, north of Danzig says XC Amatol. Such odd names around here, really. Uh, where's, our, where's our ships? There we go. And ditch all this stuff here right into, well, probably into my storage as well. And that cheese is costing us a lot to produce, but that's because, well, we only have a couple of them and we didn't hire that many uh, workers yet, so it takes a while to make some. I need to make Riga into a much more happening place. Much more happening place. But anywhere that says that we'll pay you to build production buildings like this, meat would be perfect, they say. Well, then I go to the guild and I say, you already gave me the rights to produce meat. The issue is that I don't really have any salt, but that's something that can be dealt with in due time. So I take the mission. I am really going to enjoy that 80,000 ducats they give me for this. And then... Factory times two. Which, incidentally... No, let's not make a joke like that. There we go. They need uh, goods to build them, but they'll have those goods pretty fast. In fact, there, have some goods. Actually, you're missing a lot of goods, but we'll take care of that. Completely lost my train of thought, but it's probably not important. Why are you called the Stow Fox? Is that meant to be like Star Fox? In any case, there were some... Uh, where the heck are my names? Do we have a bed Chamberlain William yet? Not even sure if that will fit. Bed Chamberlain William. Ah. There we go, Rear Admiral William. How do you say Rear Admiral? Is it two words? Possibly. All right, let's go and get that treasure. Somebody correctly pointed out that it's probably around here. Beautiful uh, things. Okay, so what's our treasure? Hmm, I'm a merchant. Grand merchant. And there's another pirate coming out. Holgerson. And Cornbrook is stronger, even though I nailed his uh, his fleet before. And it's telling me Holgerson's again appearing. Well, whatever. 
234,000 ducats collected. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty damn happy about that. Now Rostock has a, uh, a boat for us. Chie's probably been getting a bit full these days. You can have an extra crayer on you. No, no, I don't like that at all. I like having more very experienced... Uh, If we have Chie, we've got to have my pick from that, which will be Kanji. Yeah, the SS. Persona's a great one. Slav Fuchs means Sly Fox, Jake. Oh, hey, Callum. Ducket making goes exceptionally well. Don't tell me you're gearing up to play some Personing. Not sure I could handle it. I feel like I don't capitalize enough over here. I wonder if I've made that route already. But I bet I haven't made it in this direction. What a thing of beauty. Get to it, Kanji. Alright, so we're over in Novgorod. We have a level of popularity here. Let's try and make it a bit better. Take my, uh, take my metal. Oh, they really like that. Take my mead. Also popular. Take my wine. Alright, so now that uh, Novgorod is drunk enough, we can go to the guild and say, let us in. And they say, sure. Uh, let us build goods. Let us build cheese. We don't really care about cheese, but... We really don't care about cheese. Why would I ever want to produce cheese in Novgorod? Well, we're going to do it anyway. Live fast, die swole. And since we are fine here, we're also fine to start producing some crayer. Heavens knows where we're going to get the goods for it, but... I'm sure they'll pop out every now and then. Support the place. The population needs to double. This is an amazing... Um, uh, words just died coming out of my brain, though. This is an amazing assignment to get if you can actually do it. But what you need is a lot of iron vessels that can transport sailors from one place to another and just dump them. It's a little population-moving exploit that I like to use. So what can we do for poor Novgorod here? I mean, it could be our grain train. It's the only place that we have. That, uh, that can do it. Jake, how old is this game? How much did you play in the past? I've got 200 hours logged in this game. It came out in 2011. I once made a beautiful Hansa in which a few choice cities of mine became thriving metropolises and every other place I just burned to the ground. I blockaded them so they could have no food. And just London fell to pieces. It became a population of, I think, 400 starving beggars. And I just kept set firing to their houses, and, uh... Oh, it was gorgeous. But, uh... I lost that save some way, somehow. I think that's when I, uh, moved over to SSD. Did not quite back up everything like a fool. Okay. So enough about being foolish. Where's my head at right now? Rear Admiral William is just making his way into Riga. And I'm thinking what to do with Novgorod. It's a very difficult place to actually build up without any access to wood or brick. But they're going to need food, and I want this to be the grain train, right? The Grimsby can do what they want. What happens if you click that arrow under London, Jake? This is the one that takes you to the Mediterranean. You need a convoy with a level 3 navigator and blah blah blah. Now, do we have one of those yet? I'm hoping the answer is yes, but... It could well be no. You know, this game needs a ledger. Oh, there's a lot of things this game needs. Remade for the modern era being one of them. Okay. I'm sure we're close, but none of them have the experience just yet. They will get it, though. They just need time sailing. And to be honest, I could sit back and just speed five it for a while, because everything's looking fine. Oh, and I can actually join another city, so if somebody wants to choose another place for us to set up shop, 
Preferably somewhere that deals in beer. So actually, I'm going to say that beer is your only choice. And from there, you can have... That stockfish is good as, uh, good as well. We can have London. We can have Edinburgh. Please tell me there are more choices in London and Edinburgh. London's a bit useless otherwise. Okay, well, colour me disgusted. Uh, you know Edinburgh's starving, right? Stagnation on its way down and no locally produced food. That's a problem. Pick Edinburgh. West London must pick. Okay, so we're going to make uh, Edinburgh thrive and burn London to the ground. Okay. I see. I see how this is going. Which means I need Rear Admiral William. Don't we all? Oh, there, we have a spare prayer here. How did I miss that? I guess you can be Pom Pom. Ode to Spaced, greatest thing to ever hit Channel 4. Uh, what were you going to do exactly? I don't know, and I really don't care that much, but... That's fine, right? I mean, that brings wood and brick and all that back to Novgorod. It doesn't have to be that good. It's not an expensive thing to run, I just want some experienced, uh, experienced captains. So on you go, Pom Pom. No, what I need is for Rear Admiral William to spit off one of these. I'm going to build another, uh, another ship here. Where's our names? I'm not seeing enough, uh, not seeing enough ship names coming in. Which colors me very disappointed. I thought we had a more inventive chat than this. But then I guess an inventive chat would have invented some ways to entertain themselves tonight. I can't believe there are 500 of you watching this snorefest. I mean, I'm having fun in a complicated way. Ah. Really just lets me sit back and really take in the exploitation. But it's building IKEA furniture that always makes me come running back to this game. Because I get thinking about, okay, where was the wood sourced, and where did it go to get processed, and coming in, and I'm the end user buying it. Gives me good feelings. Alright, I, like, uh, I like this name. The Master. He's everybody's favourite. What we need to do is start thinking long and hard about uh, Edinburgh. So we'll bring Edinburgh some goodies. But it pretty much needs to be a cog here, because it's a lot more open waters in the North Sea. There we go, get to work. <laughs> and once I get to Edinburgh... Okay, I am not very popular in Edinburgh. I can fix that if I bring in lots of super goodies. So, Rear Admiral William, what do you have for us? Cheese. They'll like cheese over there. They'll like the idea of getting food for a change. So, no food, no brick. Just not much of anything. Ha, <laughs> castaways. Make a boaty face, pick them up. They're from Riga, they're not going back to Riga. They're my castaways now. So I guess we can bring the, uh, the Scots some salt. We really don't get a lot of uh, clothes produced around here, do we? Anyway, I'm just going to go around and uh, pick up any items that the Scots might like. Wow, these guys have plenty of clothes. Pick up a whole bunch of them, but not so many that I'm going to rob my own uh, trade fleets of them. I can't remember if the Scots had any hemp or not. Oh, they do have hemp. They're not going to be very interested in that. 
Storkholm, what do you have for the Scots? Other than a nuclear holocaust, oh, bollocks. Your convoy, Rear Admiral William, is under attack from convoy Holgerson. Escape maneuvers? No. That was a lot of stuff to take. That was so much to take. Alright, Hunter, you're taking him down. Kill him. Oh, he's really got to die for that. I see you are helping me develop my city. Keep up the good work. Lack of esque. Nonsense. Alright. You're going down. You're all going down. Can't touch this. I need to get myself some extra pirates there, some extra sailors though. The more sailors you have, the faster you reload, and if I'm not mistaken, I have no sailors. There we go, we got our stuff back. So we'll get Hunter back in with uh, Rear Admiral. Well, I'm gonna ditch the cob first. Convoy can be its own thing. Okay, we need an SS Golden Horde, says someone. I can buy that. There we go. Golden Horde needs their own uh, trade route, and well, to be honest, I don't really care what it is right now. It's going to make me money, whatever it does. Thing of freaking beauty. Then yes, there's Hunter here, right? And I'm overflowing with uh, with goodies. First, I need some sailors because it took for it was taking forever to reload. I also wish I was not uh, not this kind of ship. Crayer is better, but this is a Snaika, which I'm not so fond of. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw everything onto market, kaboosh, and then Hunter is returning back from the depths which they came, which will be Danzig. Then there's Rear Admiral William, who is going to buy back up all that stuff. You actually don't pay any transaction fee, so to speak, so if you need to dump something for a very small amount of time, you can do that. The Scots would like some meat, I'm certain, having been Scottish once in my life and quite liking meat. I see you are helping me develop my city. Keep up the good work. Selfish folk around here, isn't there? Pitch is good, and some of that. And I really want some spices to bring to Scotland. Again, I forgot the Golden Horde. I forgot to tell the Golden Horde to do their thing. I see you are helping me develop my city. Keep up the good work. There we go. I'm not sure the Scots can even afford wine, but we'll bring them some anyway. And oh, very strange for the Scots not to have iron, but there we go. I'd like to bring them some pelts too. Ripen's about the only place that'll do that. And some pitch. I just bought pitch. You have now set up your first business that requires raw materials for the production of goods. Please remember that these raw materials must be available in your counting house every day as each business draws its raw materials from the counting house. This is being done, right? I don't have a lot of time before it's time up. Oh, damn. I never brought enough bricks. Oh, that hurts. That's 80,000 ducats that I'm not going to get because it took too long for the stock farm to get their bricks. And I missed it. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. 
I mean, I can just hold down spacebar and get that money back. But what we can do is forget that that ever happened. There we go. See, everything's happy. Scots don't even have needs, do they? Truly a helpless bunch. Okay, let's go and get some reputation in Edinburgh. He made a good point, though. The uh, the stock farms that I have need salt. And since I don't have any in my counting house, I'm going to need to fix that. I can either make sure that I always buy up some, or I can produce some. For now, I'm going to buy it, because it will give me an opportunity to show what the counting house is truly useful for. You should buy an administrator. It costs 50 ducats each day. And then you tell them to sell goods, and you tell them to buy goods. For now, I'm just going to tell them to buy salt. I'm going to say, I want you to hold at least 250 units of salt in the warehouse, and I need you to pay at, le uh, at most... Um, good question. Hold that thought for a sec. I don't want you to pay more than 71 for salt. Let me check if that's a good number here. Well, I mean, there's barely any salt right now, so why worry about it? Nonetheless, I'm going to hold some in storage for now, just so we can actually use it for the meat. But salt should be produced, and there should be plenty of it to uh, to get in there, but I'm guessing it just got sold fairly recently. Either that, or I'm in dire straits. So yeah, the great thing about the counting house is that it's, it will check market every day and buy up to whatever you tell it to do and sell to whatever you tell it to do. So I could say, okay, uh, we're producing wood here. I want you to sell wood until we have only 500 left, and I want you to sell it for at least 41 ducats. Uh, that's selling ourselves short. I want to make at least 65 ducats in each sale of wood. And that's it. You can uh, save and load these settings and tell your market people what to do. I mean, I'm not going to have that, sort that, but it's it's good. It's pretty damn good. Probably, uh, probably a hard sell to make that much money off of my wood, but you can try, right? SS Trustworthy Ryukyu Sales. <laughs> oh, I had forgotten about that, but it wasn't Ryukyu. It was I knew. Never forget that, Sunshine. Alright, so the hemp was a bust, but uh, no, I want to actually see my reputation grow in Edinburgh. I certainly won't see Edinburgh grow. Although I will get a new treasure map. ka -ching. I think if you're lucky, you get the X straight away. Not that I've seen it. There, Edinburgh looks like a real bust here. The houses look like crap. The church is just a church instead of a big old ministry. There's no shipyard. Are they even thinking about building a shipyard? The Edinburgh City Council is currently considering the following project. A small shipyard, a minister, or a defensive tower. You must have a counting house in the city before you can champion a project. Now if I build one, then I can do that. And it just so happens that I am in town to do that. So I go to the guild, wherever it is, there we go, and I say, let me join. They say, we don't like you, and I say, fine. Take my iron, take my salt, take my mead, take some clothes, you filthy naked apes. That's I see pitch. that you are helping me develop my city. Keep up the good work. I love the authentic Scottish accents that they got for this game. Really brings it alive. There we go. Through selling goods here, I've actually managed to up my uh, up my reputation. That was very artificial because I bought goods that I knew that they would want that would have high impact. Spices and wine and lovely things like that have a much larger larger impact than bringing in, say, wood and brick. And it has to be stuff that they actually want, otherwise they're going to be less than impressed. So yeah, let me join. I wonder if they make it cheaper if they like you more. One, four, five. Well, damn, they do. That's exploitable. Well, that one they didn't care so much about.
Well, you learn something new every day. Marvin von Riga is warmly welcomed into the Guild of Edinburgh. You guys are making me go to the worst places. But still, now we can produce beer at long last, as I know that we've always wanted to. Also, there's something else I wanted to check. Did we ever get our permission to go to the uh, Mediterranean? Yes, we did. Good. Jake, you ever played the Guild too? No. Become the Mayor of Novgorod? No. At least not yet. It will be something we have to do eventually, but not now. Heavens no. So, Counting House. You're commissioning a Counting House? For your own sake. You should leave it at that. I really want them to build a small shipyard, but I can't uh, petition until that shipyard, uh, that counting house is built. And they seem short on brick. It's not all the scops are short on. Oh, those beautiful bagpipes. Man, why did I even come to this place? Look at what I can build. It's a whole heap of ass. Sheep farm, yeah. And the thing about the brewery is the grain would have to come all the way over from uh, Novgorod. And I can't even use, uh, can't even use cogs for that. It would be a painful one. Jake, make some more ships. We're plenty on names, but short on ships. Okay, well, the thing is I can kind of just space bar my way to victory right now. I could give Rear Admiral uh, William a new job, though. For example, just have him do that. Trading is trading. No, you know what? This is a... It's a really unexciting route. That's a bit more adventurous, isn't it? The only person not doing anything is Hunter 1 here. Now, truly, what I want is not piracy. At least, not right now. I want a whole bunch more ships, and I really want some weaponized crayers, because those are the ones that uh, they pack the punch. Aldborg, will you help us out? No, of course you won't. And you're full of uh, construction orders already. Okay, well, this place has a shipyard that's doing a whole load of nothing for me, so... Let's cog a clock. It's always cog a clock. Although it's usually better done in places where I'm already established, because then I can get it done nice and fast. As then I can pick them up straight away. But I've taken only garbage outlying areas, so... Oh well. Less complaining, more making loads of boats. Cog it up. And I really want to be told to uh, increase production in these places again. Again, it's not particularly enjoyable to jump from city to city, waiting for them to uh, give you the missions that you want. Wait, I don't have... Uh A lot of things I evidently don't have. Alright, so Safala is pretty good, but it could be better if there was a cog doing that instead of the crayer. I'm going to take the crayer out. I'm going to make it another convoy. I'm going to call it Hunter 2. What? There we go. Now I'm going to upgrade that bad boy. Hunter 2, ka ching, ka ching. And we're going to give it some sailors as well. Ooh, nice, lots of sailors. And then we're going to have it hang around probably here in Ripon. Ripon. Ripon Tear. Because whenever there are pirates, and if you see them before me, please shout them out. You can tell because they have black, sh uh, black sails and don't move unless it's to intercept another ship. What is victory in this game? Having fun. No one's ever won this game. 